All right, guys, in today's teaching on the guard player series, we're going to be adding a De La Hiva guard into our game. All right, we've shown you guys a De La Hiva hook. Now I need to actually go into De La Hiva guard and have a couple options for the De La Hiva guard because to have a good guard game, I've got to understand and be able to play a little bit of De La Hiva, okay? So entering into our De La Hiva, we're going to be going in with our collar sleeve drag like we've been doing, except for instead of going for the collar, this time I'm gonna be going for the pant leg. So I'm dropping in and I'm putting my foot onto the hip, and I'm immediately looking for my, my pant grip on his leg right here, all right? This is gonna cause him to base, and this is gonna allow me to get my second grip, so I'm gonna let go of the collar, and I'm gonna switch to the hand grip, all right? So this is the two grips that I want to set up my De La Hiva guard, all right? I wanna break this hand off of my leg. I'm going to put my foot in the upper thigh region right here and then I'm going to throw my De La Hiva guard in and have a have my De La Hiva guard completely set up now. All right. So here's the first option. We're going to go into some set up De La Hiva guard options. All right. So what I'm going to do is I kind of keep my foot up nice and high. I don't want it low down here so that he can start to, to fight that leg off. Right. So I keep it nice and high so it's very difficult for him to get off. Right, and first I'm, now I'm gonna extend his base, up, allowing me to sit up. So I extend his base and that allows me to sit up. When I sit up, I fire my hand through and I'm looking for the, the, uh, the lapel grip right here. So once I've gotten the lapel grip, automatically my foot's gonna go back here and I'm gonna start turning him towards here and then I'm gonna be able to dump him over and complete the sweep right there, coming up on top and then I can start going into my guard passing. That's option number one. All right, guys, the second option is going to require the exact same setup. So I'm going to be going into my De La Hiva guard, and I'm going to be doing my setup from there. All right, so I'm grabbing my opponent's collar. I'm throwing my foot up into their hip so that I can achieve the pant leg grip. All right, so I reach up. I grab my opponent's collar, foot up into the hip, and I achieve the pant leg grip. All right, so once I've got the collar grip, I want to keep his posture bent over so I can reach over and grab my sleeve grip on this side. Once I achieve my sleeve grip, I need to make sure I clear his hand. So I clear his hand off, I put my foot in the groin area, and then I move my butt over so that I can throw in my De La Hiva hook. Once I've got my De La Hiva hook here, I'm gonna pull him forward, extend his base so I can do my sit-up guard. So I extend and I sit up, and I achieve my grip on the lapel as I sit up, and this replaces my De La Hiva hook here, all right? So once I've gotten this, all right, my opponent's gonna have to make a decision because if I start to turn right now, I'm gonna be able to sweep him over like I showed you on the first option, all right? So he's gonna decide to push his knee back into me. As he pushes his knee back into me, I'm gonna go to my back and I'm gonna throw my De La Hiva hook back in and I'm gonna hook right behind his knee, all right? And I'm gonna use that momentum to carry him over my head. So it's gonna look like this. We're here, he pushes into me, I throw and I come up and I'm able to hit my sweep. All right, so that's your second option for using the sit-up guard from the De La Hiva to sweep your opponent. You guys give that a try. Let us know what you think.